stories from Harry Kaur's horrifying tragedy for royals after Queen and Charles's retribution. The royal family should be nervous as Prince Harry is poised to release his hotly anticipated memoir this year, it has been warned. A publishing insider claims royal fans can expect to read a lot of new stories in the Duke of Sussex's upcoming book, which will span Prince Harry's childhood, from growing up in the world's most famous family to his present day as a father of two living in California with his wife Meghan Markle after the pair sensationally quit the firm. They told Page Six, there's a lot of new stories in there about the past that Harry has not spoken about before, about his childhood there is some content in there that should make his family nervous. It comes after reports the release of Harry's tell-all book would be delayed until after 2022. Prince Harry, 37, is no stranger to offering details into life as a royal and has previously ruffled feathers inside the firm with a tell-all interview with American TV network NBC and US host Oprah Winfrey. During a sit-down interview with NBC's Hoda Kotb, the Duke gave insight into his relationships with members of the royal family. The Duke spoke fondly of his reunion with his beloved grandmother, the Queen but failed to mention his meeting with his father Prince Charles and stepmother Camilla. He later dodged a question about whether he missed his father and his older brother Prince William suggesting that a rift between the princes still existed. Before this chat, the Duke also opened up on his experiences and feelings about the royal family during a bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey where he said the reason for leaving the firm was because of a lack of support and lack of understanding. The prince went on to say that his father and brother were trapped within the monarchy. Harry's new book was announced in July 2021 by publisher Penguin Random House. No actual publication date has ever been confirmed but it was previously expected to be released in 2022. Speaking about the book previously, Harry said, I'm writing this not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become, Harry said in a statement after the news broke last July. I've worn many hats over the years, both literally and figuratively, and my hope is that in telling my story, the highs and lows, the mistakes, the lessons learned, I can help show that no matter where we come from, we have more in common than we think. I'm deeply grateful for the opportunity to share what I've learned over the course of my life so far and excited for people to read a first-hand account of my life that's accurate and wholly truthful. Sussexes visited the Queen over the Jubilee weekend, with their two children. The visit was the first time that the 96-year-old got to meet, in person, her namesake great-granddaughter, Lilibet, who celebrated her first birthday over the Jubilee weekend. It was also the first time, the Queen got to see Archie, the couple's three-year-old son, since he moved with his parents to the US. The couple reportedly flew home to the US before the Jubilee celebrations had concluded. Ever since Prince Harry announced that he would be releasing a memoir in 2022, reports have suggested that the royals are on edge, to say the least. One expert even said they were quaking in their boots, since the announcement he would be writing the book came on the heels of the explosive interview Prince Harry and Meghan Markle gave to Oprah, opening up about their treatment within the royal family from its other members. In particular, speculation abounded that the memoir would be very critical of Prince Charles and how he acted around Meghan. Well those nervous royals can breathe easier now that fall book announcements have come out and Harry's memoir is nowhere to be seen. Put the Daily Mail, that a mission would almost certainly not have happened if the book were really coming out in 2022 as intended. Really, 